Ladies and gentlemen, you know the tariffs from China and the U.S. are in effect today. And we know the recession is coming. And now companies are warning consumers that the prices will be high. I told y'all this is going to cause an inflation in the country. You know, a lot of things are going to go up in price. And everybody's going to have to be prepared to pay a lot more money for things that you are used to buying. So this came out on Fox News, September 1st, 2019. Steep new U.S.-China tariffs go into effect as companies warn of higher consumer prices. You can best believe it's coming. You know, whatever they are struggling to pay for, they're going to pass it on to the consumers. Despite multiple indications last month of a possible breakthrough in trade negotiations, the United States and China went ahead with their latest tariff increases on each other's goods, Sunday potentially raising prices Americans pay for some clothes, shoes, sporting goods, and other consumer items in advance of the holiday shopping season. The 15% U.S. taxes apply to about $112 billion of Chinese imports. All told, more than two-thirds of the consumer goods in the United States imports from China now faces higher taxes the administration had largely avoided hitting consumer items in the earlier rounds of tariff hikes. But with prices of many retail goods now likely to rise, the Trump administration's move threatens the U.S. economy main driver, consumer spending. As businesses pull back on investment spending and exports slow in the face of a weak global growth, American shoppers have been a key bright spot for the economy. As a result of Trump's higher tariffs, many U.S. companies have warned that there will be for they will be forced to pass on their consumers, the higher prices they pay on China imports. And that's, a, you know, that's what all of these retailers, you know, when you look at a place like Walmart, they get all of that stuff from China. So yeah, they're going to pass all that cost on to everybody out here. Some businesses though have decided in the end to absorb the higher costs rather than raise prices for their consumers. Yeah, well, let's see how long that's going to last because this is just the first round of tariffs. There's more tariffs as of October 1st. Let's see if they still feel the same way then. Trump told reporters in August that Apple CEO Tim Cook privately made a very compelling argument that the administration's tariffs on China assembled goods have made an unfair impact on the California-based tech giant because its chief rival, Samsung, has conducted most of its manufacturing in South Korea and did not have to pay the levy. Even more tariffs loom on the horizon on December 15th, the Trump administration is scheduled to impose a second round of 15% tariffs, this time on roughly 160 billion of imports. If those duties take effect, virtually all goods imported from China will be covered, including all major Apple products. In China, authorities began charging higher duties on American imports at midday Sunday, according to employees who answer the phone at custom offices in Beijing 
and the southern port of Gangzhou. Guangzhou. Okay, the move came even though China signaled last week that it was seeking a calm end to its ongoing trade war with the U.S. As Asian markets crumbled and China currency plummeted to an 11-year low, tariffs of 10% and 5% applied to items ranging from uh, frozen sweet corn and pork liver to marble and bicycle tires. The Chinese government announced earlier. Wow. After Sunday's tariff hike, 87% of textile and clothing the U.S. buys from China and 52% of shoes will be subject to import taxes. The Chinese government has released a list of American import targeted for penalties on December 15th. If the U.S. tariff hikes take effect, in total, Beijing says Sunday's penalties and the planned December increases will apply to a $75 billion of American goods. Washington and Beijing are locked in a war over U.S. complaints that China steals U.S. trade secrets and unfairly subsidize its own companies in its drive to develop global competitors in such high-tech industries as artificial intelligence and electric cars. To try to force Beijing to reform its trade practices, the Trump administration has imposed import taxes on billions of dollars worth of Chinese imports, and China has retaliated with tariffs on U.S. exports. Trump has insisted that China itself pays the tariff, but in fact, Economic research has concluded that the cost of the duties fall on U.S. businesses and consumers. Trump never tells the damn truth. He had indirect knowledge the tariffs impact by delaying some of the duties until December 15th, after holiday goods are already in store shelves. I mean, on store shelves. A study by J.P. Morgan found that Trump's tariffs will cost the average U.S. household $1,000 a year. That study was done before Trump raised the September 1st and December 15th tariffs to 15% from 10%. The president has also announced that existing 25% tariffs on a separate group of $250 billion of Chinese imports will increase to 30% on October 1st. Hmm. You know, no matter how you look at this, this doesn't look good as far as the consumers are concerned. I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of people in this country complaining about the higher prices to come because that's the only thing we're going to be looking forward to in the future. Inflation and a recession coming to America near you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be rough. You know, the tougher he gets on China over uh, these tariffs, the tougher China's going to get on U.S. exports. And I just don't see no good outcome to this. You can certainly tell me what you think. But I think escalating this stuff, we're definitely going to be in a recession very soon. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about this trade war. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the stock market this week. I have a feeling it's not going to be a good week in America. Please leave your comment 
and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.